Hi there, I am Ted Jiboye, a husband, father, friend, and a worship leader. And you are locked in to Nigeria Extreme. Why gospel music for me? Gospel music is the good news. It's the good news of God. It brings life. It brings entertainment as well. But most importantly, it speaks to the soul. How long have I been into music? I've been singing for a long time. But for the past 20, 25 years or so, I have been a worship leader. You never fail. Your love remains. How do I worship? In church, but also outside church. I believe obviously that my mandate is outside the four walls of the church. So I, for example, I have events that I attend. Um, recently I was at RCCG uh, Jesus House um, in, in uh, Festac Town, 24 Road, a big massive event called Pages of Praise. And we were there leading worship alongside the likes of Sinatch and some other worship leaders as well. What, re what relation do I have with other gospel artists? Uh, a very unique relationship because obviously we all gather together obviously to do bits and pieces from time to time. As a gospel musician, the most remarkable moment so far is me releasing my brand new album, Tag Faithful. How long did it take me to pull the, the, the songs together? It took me, it took us about a year, uh, but all in all, we've been, uh, say, about 15 years working on that project. You are almighty God. Who did I choose to work with, work with on the album? Uh, the album itself was produced by a gentleman called Girls I Am, um, and on the album I've got uh, Integrity Music's worship leader and recording artist, Noah Robinson, uh, Muiwa Larewaju, who is uh, a presenter on Turning Point and the station uh, coordinator of Premier Gospel in the United Kingdom. Uh, a lady called JC May, who's a worship leader and a pianist by the name of Ian Oakley. You are what relationship do I have with him? Muiwa Larewaju is a very good friend of mine, uh, but more so, Muiwa Larewaju is a legend. Um, he's a recording artist, he's a worship leader, and he's one that I look up to. Uh, he's doing everything that you know, we want to do as an artist, and obviously he's breaking barriers. Uh, so uh, it, it made every perfect sense to team up with him on this album. What inspired this, the, the lyrics of the song Unshakable? Uh, it's, it's simple. God being who God is, the fact that he's unshakable, the fact that he can do anything, the fact that he's unmovable, the fact that he is God all by himself. And you know, when it comes to God, anything is possible. That's who How long did it take us to put that piece together? It took us, gosh, I think it was a matter of weeks. I'd say four, I'd say four to five weeks. What has been the acceptance of that video? The acceptance has been very good. Uh, in fact, the reception has been great, especially over in the UK, where we released it and where we shot the video. Uh, the reception has been <laughs> interesting. Folks obviously love the video, we get comments, uh, particularly comments along the lines of how, great, how, how good God is to, to individuals who listen to it. How would, I, how would I describe the acceptance of my brand to people in general? Uh, the acceptance of the brand has been, it's been well received. Uh, what you see is what you get. Um, and people fall in love with that. As a gospel musician, what challenges do I encounter? They, they vary. You know, I think the, the number one challenge uh, is that the, the market is a bit fickle. 
Um, and what we're trying to do as a, as, a, as a gospel musician is try to break through that market. But most importantly, to also get across to people from all walks of life, not just to Christians, but to non-Christians alike. How do I handle female fans? Uh, <laughs> I handle female fans the same way I handle, you know, um, everybody. Uh, in all fairness, I look, I look at the individuals as one. I, I, when, I, when it comes to my music, I don't see male or female. I just see people. I consider myself uh, a bit of a singer. I wouldn't say I'm a singer. Uh, I can try, and I try to sing. How did we put the video together for Unshakable? Uh, with that, we, we, had a, we had a creative director who was in charge of the video itself. Uh, we went down uh, to Scotland uh, to shoot the videos. There was a lovely place in Scotland with some waterfalls uh, that we, we chose to shoot that video at. What level, what level of push am I making in the UK to make my presence felt? We, we, we're pushing every, every angle. Um, the music itself is available worldwide. The music itself is available in the UK on my website. The music is available on iTunes, on every digital platform. Uh, so those are all the tools that we, we're using and we're pushing uh, to make the music acceptable and known. We're also on Facebook, uh, on Twitter and all that kind of stuff. So we're using every social media aspect to get the music out there. Is there a particular way a, a gospel musician should dress? I would say moderate. Um, you see, there's a, there's a favorite, there's, there's a favorite uh, scripture that says, come as you are. You know, uh, and we, as Christians, we've got to be modest. Uh, as Christians, we've got to be, we, we've, got to, we've got to lead by examples. Um, female, you know, I don't want to touch on the male female thing, but you know, so long as obviously, it, you know, you look decent enough, and you know, most of us are attractive, we're attractive looking. I, I would say don't hide that. Be who, be who you are. What do I have to say about musicians who wear, dread, who wear studs, who have dreads, chains? There's nothing wrong with that. Again, as I said, you know, it's come as you are. When, you know, when it comes to uh, gospel musicians, nobody's looking at how you dress. Nobody's looking at how you, you know, how you, what you wear or what you're not wearing. You know, the, 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 the Christian faith is about the condition of your heart. And that's what God looks at. And that's what we should be looking at. Do I think in my own opinion that, the gospel, that, that gospel music is a stereotype? In my own opinion, I do not think so. Um, I, I, th I, th I think... In the UK, it's, it's not. It is, it is what it is, you know, we sing about what we love, we sing about who we love. Um, I don't believe it's stereotype at all. What advice do I have for people who are going into gospel music? Thinking of the fact that they might be, they might be skeptical about, about, about acceptance. Um, my advice is be yourself. Uh, Yes, take guidance as much as you possibly can, but be yourself. But also, don't compromise, obviously, the good news. If it's the good news, keep it real. That's what I'm going to say.